All right. Welcome to the experiment. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to, Valerie and I do something um, monthly together called Art with Interstellars. And we're going to do something a little different today, which is we're going to record ourselves in a session creating and we're going to record what we're making and then if we have any information that's coming to us. So you all, you all get to be part of this grand experiment. We're excited about it. And um, yeah, <laughs> not really sure what to expect. We'll, we'll start it like we do any, any um, class that we've done before, which is if there's any, Valerie will usually do some channeling. Um, we've already sort of gotten ready and meditated and called our our um, interstellar groups in our guides in for protection so really i mean valerie unless you are getting something from someone or a group we can just go ahead yeah let's just get right into it okay all right <laughs> And so the idea is to use art or creativity, you don't have to be an artist to do it by any stretch, to bring you into sort of your heart space in, that, in a space of channeling, if you will, just sort of getting out of the way, allowing symbols, light language, messages, images to come through. And I find that sometimes it, it takes me a while to get going, to feel channel messages coming through. Oh, 100%. That's why I love just starting anyway. Mm -hmm. And for me, sometimes just getting curious about the color that wants to come in and the movement will drop me down to that space.
And for me, the more I can get curious and become like childlike about it, the faster I can step aside as well with my thinking mind trying to figure something out. So oftentimes when I am creating art with the interstellars, I just start creating and the message of the piece, if there is one, usually doesn't come through until further along in the process. And so what I'm getting right now with this circular pattern is that it's about cycles and it's about ending cycles and moving beyond those cycles, allowing yourself to release from them kind of what the, the energy of these um, light codes are meant to help and aid with. Yeah, I love that. I I can tell personally, like I feel a being that wants to come in and, and it's already sort of trying to pop in and I'm I feel myself still in that place where I'm trying to control it and have it look the way that I think. And also what I'm noticing is the and this has never happened here in this setting. It happens a lot in the studio just in general, but where the image or the being wants to come through really, really large. And generally that doesn't, like I said, generally that doesn't happen, but I almost want to put another piece of paper together here um, to, to allow it to come through as it wants to. So I may do that. So sometimes when an interesting pattern comes up for me, so when I do interstellar art, 
I let the, the energy that's present direct where my art goes, where my strokes go, what patterns to draw. And sometimes when an interesting pattern comes up or a repeating pattern, like these dots going all the way around in a circle, I'll ask my friends, what's that all about? And the answer that I got in relation to the energy of this piece is all of those dots are points, are ideas, are reasons why you've told yourself you're not ready to let go. You're not ready to move on. The cycle isn't over. All of the reasons and excuses and things holding you to the cycle that you really need to end, you really need to move out of. And then we need to keep drawing more concentric circles to keep going deeper to move beyond those those reasons. That's interesting. I I too ask, like, so for right now, this is not the easiest piece I've I've done because I think because we're recording, honestly, and of course it'll get easier and easier. But my whole day today has been about um, perfectionism, which is one of the things my team tells me all the time is, you know, to when to drop down into the heart space, there is there that perfectionism isn't there. And they they try every time we're together to lead me to that space. So as I'm doing this today, I'm I'm asking for assistance and their assistance just is to keep going, you know, to keep finding that joy in the imperfections. They actually are the ones that suggested I put my tape over the image rather than just leaving it out um, and keeping the eye difference. They like that. They, there's, they're more interested in play and flow. <laughs> I just keep hearing the word flow. So that's what I'm, I'm going to freaking do.
So I also want to share um, another reason I like working with the interstellars is even right now they're telling me there's as I as I ponder what I consider a mistake in my artwork, they're telling me there's there's no mistake we can't correct. And oftentimes I find that when I just keep going with the picture, um, I figure out that what I was thinking was a mistake was actually where they wanted the pin mark or or the the brush stroke to go anyway. And so it's 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 a really good practice and trust for me a lot of times. This is so interesting, Val, because I'm basically being given the same information in different ways, obviously, because we're two different people. Um, I keep hearing the word surrender, you know, surrender, and it's almost surrender to the imperfection, surrender to what wants to be, uh, what wants to be born through you, surrender to the flow. And then once you get that idea of, in per, or of perfection and mistakes and all of that, once that comes or goes out of the way, then, then they can really show up. That's so interesting that you you mentioned surrender. And this one is about um, moving beyond cycles, letting go, releasing. I think it's all in the same energy, energy field. When I go into intentionally create a piece of interstellar art, it's the same approach that I would have to say drawing tarot cards. If I'm drawing a tarot card or oracle card for general guidance. So I know something's going to come through some message that I need to hear. I just don't always know what it is until I get into it. And it's, I, I just love that we're getting so, so similar messages from our different groups of interstellar friends talking about surrender, moving on, moving past. Definitely surrender and allow.
so I had a message come through and instead of it going into the picture, it went on the back. I started with just wanting to title this piece so that I remembered what it was about. So I put cycles, but as soon as I wrote cycles out, I got a bit of a channeled message from our interstellar friends. It says when one ends, another begins. But my sweet human, you must let go of the old cycle before your next one will begin. So let go, get in the flow of life, connect. And I'm feeling like that one is done. So I'm going to set that one to the side and start another one. It's interesting that you mentioned that Val because as I the the thing with me is like when I start this as I go into more detail in the image and start doing smaller things is when I start to really hear any messages that want to come through and one of the things I'm hearing is this is about cycles it is about releasing releasing what what is no longer ours what is no longer serving i keep seeing you know how an airplane has to release things in the air um i want to say waste i don't know if that's actually true or not but it's it's i'm seeing something being released being dumped um it's not a very eloquent <laughs> and pretty image but that speaks to the process too it's not always going to be comfortable or pretty it just is and the more we can allow it i think the less intense it might get but i am definitely being told that this is part of what's coming like this is part of the next step
so I'm also getting the word play and something about when we can surrender and move more with our heart, we can invoke a sense of play and reconnection. Um, I heard you know what to do, surrender to your true nature, surrender to what is next, use your inner guidance, relax into the space of the heart, and then, and then play. And something about that creates that space of expansion and love. Love that message. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. When I pulled this card out, I immediately knew that this message was going to be about abundance, mostly because it's green and because that's something I'm working on. Um, and I sat and stared at the circles for a long time, trying to figure out where they wanted me to write the code. And it was along the outer rim of this circle. And this circle overlaps a, butter, a, a dragonfly. And as I got to the part, where the dragonfly was, I wasn't even really paying attention that the dragonfly was there. Um, but I got the message to go in this inward into the circle and write the code along the inward edge of the circle. And then when I came back out, I realized that what I was doing is I was missing the dragonfly. Like I came into the circle and then came back out on the other side of the dragonfly's wings. And spirit was telling me about leaving things undisturbed, especially in, in nature. Like if you can avoid it, then to go, to just go around it, that's more like being in sync, being in the flow. And I was like, yeah, what's that got to do? What's that got to do with abundance? And it was the, they said it was an appreciation for what is, an appreciation for what's, for what's already been manifested, for what's already there not trying to disrupt that or destroy it or get rid of it, but just appreciating it and moving around it. And I'm still processing how that all ties into abundance. My thinking brain is saying, yeah, I get it. Um, but I feel like there's a deeper message there. So I just wanted to share that. 
I love that. The appreciation for what is feels abundant to me. Like even that layer of it feels abundant to me. I'm also being told that we are equipped with what we need to move forward. And that is why they're making such a big push for me, at least, to, to do the surrender and the play and the allowing. Because in that, that's what releases the codes is what I'm hearing of what's next of the it's the unfolding the um, the next piece of this transition that we're in
I'm also hearing that your frequency is changing and depending on the level of resistance versus the level of allowance will make things feel harder or easier depending upon what you choose in each moment. really like that message. Question for you, Stephanie. Do you channel a specific entity or being during your artwork? Well, I, I have a few beings in my team and I'm always assuming it's one of them. Um, Shiloh, who's interdimensional, um, and then um, a few different beings who come in and out depending on what's needed in my particular, on my particular path, you know. Um, but recently there have been, a group has stepped in um, about three weeks to a month ago of eighth, of eighth dimensional, an eighth dimensional group of beings. And I believe, and they said specifically they're here to help me and not only me, but many people transition into this next space. So I, when I really feel into it, I feel like actually they're the ones right now who are helping um, and speaking, but who shows up on a daily basis in the studio. It's sort of a, I, I'm not really sure. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? I love that. Um, I, I was just thinking about that for myself. That's why I thought I'd ask too. Um, I think I always set the intention of, well, I always set the intention and I always do connect to my Syrian counterpart and Syrian council and Syrian star beings. But as I was just sitting and pondering who's actually painting with me, like which one is it? I don't know. I think a lot of times it's collective. I think it's a lot of times it's just collectively all of them giving their input on the energy and the direction and the meaning. Um, but I'm sensing that I really need to sit and reflect on this question a little bit more because I don't think I've ever asked it. But it feels fun. It feels like the answer is going to be fun when it comes to me. Mm. Yeah, I feel collective energy mostly as well. And I and I do wonder if that's because when when we get together, the two of us or in our group, if we set the intention to bring in, you know, all of the interstellar helpers that are here for our greatest and highest good. Um, and and I might be getting a little flavor from somebody from your team and vice versa. Um yeah, that is interesting. I can't wait to hear what comes up for you. Yeah, and absolutely in those groups and those events we do once a month, it's always a collective in those groups for me. And I know for certain, I pick up on the, the energy or the interstellar communication from others, because at the end of those, we all find that we got very similar messages. And that's what I love about it. There's, there's a bit of confirmation in that and affirmation. Oh my God. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's really validating to have, well, even just together, the two of us today, we had similar uh, messages and it's validating for sure. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling fairly complete. I mean, of course I could go on with details and stuff, but as far as what they have to offer, I think that might be it for me at least. Exact same for me. Yes. <laughs> they definitely had fun um and they stepped away yeah yep cool all right so fun. i guess i guess we'll end this this uh first go around we're hoping to do this more often and we hope you'll join us the last saturday of every month and that's through tarot unicorns and coffee 
uh, meetup, and we can definitely put the link down in the description. Thanks, everyone. See you next time.